welcome back to my channel. I am Celeste. How are you guys doing? And thank you for coming and joining on my celestial journey. So it's story time. Now this story is um, about me and my fertility journey. I'm gonna finally come out and talk about it. I'm gonna finally put it out to the world of what I've been going through, what I've been, um, I don't wanna call it battling, but I'll just call it, um, I don't even wanna call it struggling experience this is my experience my fertility experience which i'm still in which i'm still going through so i'm going to take you guys back to 2019. um preston and i went to my OBGYN, and the only reason why i was going is because you know i was getting my yearly and stuff like that and you know i had told him i was having really painful menstrual cramps painful pms painful cycles and stuff like that and so on so on and so forth so he goes and tells me that I am suffering with endometriosis. So if you guys don't know what endometriosis is, it's basically tissue that grows outside of the uterus instead of the tissue that grows inside. And I may do a video on going into depth. I just always got to check my hair. <laughs> going into depth about endometriosis one day. But right now, this is just my fertility story. So he told me that I had endometriosis but I don't claim endometriosis I just say my body is experiencing and going through endometriosis I never claim anything for my body I never have I never will okay so he tells me that of course I boohoo cry I cry because I already do my research I know my body and I kind of figured it a little bit in the back of my head that that's what I was going through and that's what I was experiencing so it was really heartbreaking to find out that I had endometriosis but now he tells me oh the only thing I can do for you is um, well, he gave me three options. One, he um, performed surgery to tell me how bad it is and to remove it. Two, go on birth control. Three, have a baby. Yay! You know, I was all for going for a baby. So I was like, oh, yeah, let's start trying for a baby. So here goes our fertility journey. Here goes our fertility story. Here goes our experience, right? So he's like, I'm going to put you on Clomid. This is um, a fertility drug. A lot of patients take it and they get pregnant, you know, just like that, X, Y, Z. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, oh, the only thing is you might get pregnant with twins. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Twins is great. It's, it's fine. I've always talked about having twins. I don't even think twins run in my family. It might run in my husband's family, but I don't think so. It might. But I was just like, okay, why not? Let's go for it. So we jump right into the experience with fertility drugs. I wasn't too happy about the fertility drugs, but I was excited to have a baby. So I overlooked the fact that I had to go through that part. So um, taking Clomid, wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it's very timed, scheduled. You are like, your intercourse is surrounded around, you know, a schedule. And so you had to take Clomid, um, cycles three to five and then you had to have intercourse you know cycle day 10 to 20 and on and off and this and that and whatever it was very it, it was very uh different for us because we were just you know thinking it was just going to be like oh take the drugs just do what you got to do and just the baby will pop out it didn't happen for us like that i ended up having to take clomid for five rounds now me doing my research, I'm a research person. I found out you're not even supposed to take Clomid six rounds. You're not supposed to go any further than that. So when I had got to five, I started getting nervous. I was just like, oh, well, okay, what's going on? First of all, I'm not getting any checkups in between. I'm just taking Clomid, taking Clomid, taking Clomid, taking Clomid. I'm just like, oh, is this working? And then the first cycle that it didn't work, I was devastated. So I was just like, what is going on? And it just, it really was, now that I look back, it really was a, a tough time to even be taking medication and doing something that I felt like my body wasn't supposed to be doing as far as taking medicine to get pregnant because getting pregnant should be easy, right? After the fifth, after the fifth cycle, nothing happened. Um, so I called my doctor. He said, oh, I'm going to put you on for Mara. I was like, okay. Now, let me say again, I'm not doing any checkups in between. I'm not doing any blood work in between. I'm not doing any like ultrasounds in between to see if the 
if my body's even taking, you know, working for this stuff. So, but you know, back then you just, you don't know what you don't know, right? I go in and start taking Primera. Same thing with Clomid, it's just a different drug. You take it a certain amount of days, and then you have your do you do in the other days, and then you wait for the pregnancy test. Same situation, stressful, counting days, charting, this, that. Oh, it was just, it wasn't any, that part wasn't even fun anymore. It's just like, okay. Now, this is all in one year span. This is all in one year span. So I'm going through, Press and I are going through this with one year span. And I was just like, this is just really hard. This is really difficult. Take the Femera. Femera doesn't work. <sighs> Femera doesn't work. And so at this, at this point, you could only imagine how we are feeling and how things are going. And it's just like each month you get excited. You're like, oh, I'm so excited to get to try again. And then it feels like a letdown. And you're just like, okay. You, you get a, a get high up and now so now the, the mixed emotions the roller coaster it's the roller coaster for me the, the roller coaster ride is the toughest part of this whole experience but um after Fumera I said that's it I'm not taking any more drugs I'm not taking any more fertility drugs I'm not doing it it's not working it's not working that way it's not working that way so it's not working <laughs> it's not working but I knew it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. I still feel in my body, my soul, it's gonna happen, but I just felt like the medicine was just being, it was just forcing it. It wasn't fun anymore, so we stopped. So now, if you wanna know um, the rest of my experience and my story, I'm gonna do a part two, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to, um, I don't wanna make this a long-winded, video depressing sad crying i did make a video like that and i was very sad and i was just like i don't think this needs to go out just because just because i didn't want it to go out i don't want my my channel to be all sad i want my channel to be educating learning inspiring so yeah that's probably something y'all could see but i don't want to come back and see that i don't want to relive that sad i already have to think about you know, when I, it's my life, so I already have to go through it. But recording it and putting it out there and it always being out there, it's just something I wasn't built for. <laughs> so I'm making a more upbeat video, a more uplifting video, a more lighter video, just telling you guys my experience with fertility. But, you know, if you want to know how the rest is going or the rest of the story is going, you're going to want to check out part two of my fertility experience. Thank you guys so much for watching my celestial journey. I love you guys already because this is actually fun for me. Once I start getting my backdrop together, I already got my lighting and the, the um, microphone. I'm going to be in there. So y'all are going to want to keep watching these videos. And soon you're going to be wanting to subscribe, like, and comment. I see you guys commenting and I thank you so, so much for just loving me and accepting me and just um, allowing me to just share my journey and share my life with you guys. This is low-key lit. <laughs> Is that what the kids say? Oh, gosh. But anyway, yeah. So stay tuned for part two of my fertility experience. Bye.